turn to Ephesians chapter 6. We're going to look at verses 1 and 2. Children, do what your parents tell you. This is only right. Verse 2. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment that has a promise attached to it. Namely, verse 3. So will you live well and have a long life. So the Bible specifically tells us that children, regardless of your age, we are to honor our fathers and our mothers. Children, honor your father and your mothers. How many of you are flawed? How many of you are flawed? Everybody didn't raise their hand. So, so we got some perfect people in here. Oh, let me, let me see who didn't raise their hand so I can. I need to meet you today. I need some of that to rub off on me. How many of you are flawed? Raise your hand way high. How many of you know your parents were flawed? Amen. So your parents maybe didn't do everything right. Maybe they didn't. Uh, maybe some of you grew up in abusive situations. Maybe some of you grew up in, you know, where your parents were alcoholics or drug addicts or whatever. Your parents just wasn't there for you. The Bible gives no stipulation as to what kind of parents we should honor. We should honor and obey our parents for the rest of our lives. You know, um, you may say, well, how in the world can I honor a mother and a father that just wasn't there for me. How in the world can I do that? You know how you can do it? You choose to. You choose to. I can remember, you know, um, there's nobody in here outside of, I think my cousin Angela. She knew my dad. He passed a year ago. And, uh, but anyway, he was a, a firm man. Stern man. She said, yes, sir. <laughs> he was. He was firm. He was stern. And as children, you know, we thought he was the meanest man on the earth. But today, I appreciate that. Amen. I appreciate that. Now, you know, we had a family issue come up, you know, a few years ago. And, and uh, the Lord told me that I was to go and talk to my mom and my daddy. How many of you know I was scared? <laughs> I was fearful. You know, even as children, I would, we would leave notes on the dresser asking my daddy for money for something for school. Anybody else did that? You know, we were so scared to ask for something that we needed, we would leave notes. But anyway, the Lord told me that I was to go and talk to them, and the issue concerned me. It was concerning me. And so I'm thinking, well, God, we can just sweep it under the rug. It'll be all right. He said, I want you to go talk to them. Now, let me tell you something about honor. Honor also involves honesty. It involves honesty. And so I had to be honest with my mom and my dad. And I went down, tears streaming down my face. I did it afraid. But how many of you know they received it? 
I came in a posture and a position of honor. I didn't come disrespecting them. I came respectful. I didn't raise my voice. I didn't tell them what all they didn't do, but I did give them correction. And they accepted it. They received it. And when the, at the end of the day, it was all well. Amen. But honor also involves honesty. You know, sometimes we think if we can just disregard something, it's okay. But many times we must deal with situations, confront situations. And there's a way we do that. Amen. How can we honor our parents? Number one, by appreciating them. Number two, by providing for them. You know, I'm, I'm reminded of Joyce Meyer. She, you know, y'all know her story. You know, she was abused sexually by her dad for many, many years, and her mom knew about it. So her mom and dad abused her. But yet, the Lord told her at the end of their ages, at the end when they were getting old, he instructed her to provide for them and take care of them until they died. The same people now, the same ones that had abused her, her parents, God told her, I want you to take care of them until they die. How many of you know there's benefits and blessings? There's blessings attached to that. We got to get there. Everything God does and tells us to do is for our advantage. There's a blessing attached to every promise. He said to honor your parents so that it may go well with you. It may go well with you. Think about your life. Has it not gone well because you dishonored your parents? You realize, and I'm sure none of you ever heard this before, but each one of us on children that we have, raising them from birth to 18 years old, we spend approximately $250,000 or more. That's the least. $250,000 on one child raising them from birth to 18. How much more should we repay our parents for providing for us those 18 years by taking care of them in their latter years. You say, well, I, I don't have that kind of money. To, you can do something for them. You can show you appreciate them. Mother's Day, Father's Day, I'm blessed to still have my mother with me. And I tell you what, I talk to her every single day. And I go to see her, you know, once, once a week probably. But I tell you what, I've made the Lord a promise that I'm going to honor my mother until she die or I die. Amen. God has commanded. It's in scripture. He said, obey, honor, honor, esteem, revere, add value to your parents so that it may be well with you. I've never, ever cussed my parent. My children have never, ever, never, ever, never, ever cussed me. I wonder why. They saw that seed perpetuated in my life. And when we honor our parents, our children will see that. See, there's a reason why God put that scripture in the Bible. There's a reason.
a reason why. Life as before won't go on.